coming this afternoon. I should have under, I will put underneath. You put what? Uh, I took out the head support, head okay. rest and... Very good. If you don't need it, that's fine. Can you uh, move it back? here? Is that good? Almost. Hmm. The head doesn't fit. What should we do? <laughs> Can you move it back? Yeah. How's that? I can see a head. Strange, isn't it? If I put it here... You had it on the chair before. Yeah, but then the... It's also wasn't too good. Oh, wait a minute. I know what to do. I know. I have an idea. I'll just put it right here, and you, the head will be there. You'll be there. Over here. Yeah. And it kind of will fit everything. So if you stand here, the aliens who stand here or there would be recorded. Right here? Yeah, here or there. Okay. And we only record. Oh, yeah, we only record. But I can stand here too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll just get on there and relax. Uh, I have one another, which is my major, what's that? This. Your major problem for today. This comfort. See, I can't see what's on the monitor, so you can adjust it if you need to. Very good. It's okay? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And we have been recorded. Oh. <laughs> Let me prepare here. <sighs> oh, I didn't make you any tea yet. I'll make it afterwards. No music. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I've been speaking to extraterrestrials every day, though. Have you? Yeah, with Nick and uh, Jaguar and Sabrina. And me? <laughs> I don't come. I don't come every day though. Yeah, last yeah. Since Saturday, it was Sabrina, Jaguar, and Nick. And maybe it's the car. I don't remember. Mind the car also speaking. So our colony is becoming a channeling colony. Yeah, I call it now community. You call it community. My intention is for balance in the body and good, calm energy, relaxation, relief of stress, healing, and pain relief. And I want to open my telepathic channel. And opening of telepathic channels. And if anybody wants to visit, they are welcome, as long as they are a positive entity. Let me check here. I have ate a big meal of uh, was like late early lunch of you have a goat, big goat curry. At home? Yeah, I just made my goat. Oh, I was going to see if you were staying for lunch. I can eat second lunch. <laughs> it was kind of a late breakfast or lunch, but I was... Well, I'm throwing pork chops. If you want pork chops. Maybe. You may fix them better than I do, though. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying my, my belly is kind of still getting accepted, I quote. It was too much and too good. I'm going around the body. I know that the camera won't pick everything up, but it's all right. I'm, I'm going to. Actually, your belly is there. <laughs> oh, my most and my most lovely quality. Mm -hmm. We need a cameraman for a session. Yeah. 
I'm just checking all your uh, areas to make sure they're open. Yeah, this week was good, except I'm under plan. Okay. You'll probably edit this part out anyway. Oh yeah, I, I just I the, keep the very the, the, the essential parts of the channel. Actually, you're pretty open. Probably talking to all those aliens all week. <laughs> Keeps you open. Yes. Keeps your uh, channels open. Yeah, I, I'm excited that we're becoming popular. It's like a really good influx of nice people. Yes. It, and even people who attack us, you know, they first attack and then they say, oh, I'm also a light worker and love and love and love and love. And, but initially they say, you're stupid and, you know, mm -hmm. your stupid commercials are you know, polluting nice channels of dreams. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, they make fun of me now. Yes, but you're becoming very famous. Yeah. More famous than me because you're in more of the videos. Obviously, my max only dreams to become rich. That's all. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's I don't know if this this will make that happen. I I think that it has a possibility, but we'll see. I don't expect anything, and I just let it happen, because like uh, Bashar says, if you expect it. You have a lot of energy going in down here. Let's go to curry. Mm, curry? Yeah. Goat curry. Do you eat goat, goats? Do I eat goats? Yeah. No. That's what I thought. I don't eat goat. I haven't eaten it yet, so... You might have served it to me once, but I don't know. Probably ate it at your house. So do you eat lamb? I don't eat lamb either. But I, you probably... You did serve me lamb at your house. But it was fine. We have very different. No, my question was, should I have brought some of that? I did. I thought that you might not like it, so why would I bring it? No, I do, I'm not crazy about it. My friends, I have a friend that loves it, so I would have given it to him. <laughs> but no, I, I don't really eat it. Yeah. In Russia, we didn't eat it. We didn't have it in, in that meat. But do you like it? But in Indian restaurant, you get addicted to it. I've eaten lamb at the at the Indian restaurant. Yes. And it was very good, but it has to be prepared well to for me to like it. Yeah, that's what I did. This goat curry was as good as an Indian restaurant. Oh, well then I probably would like it. But, but I don't know how to prepare late, it. Too late. I don't I know how to bring it. And next time I will... I'm not sure if I will bring it. <laughs> that's okay. I'm fine. <laughs>
Lakesh? Yes. Welcome, Lakesh. Hello, how are you? Great, how are you? Very well. I see that you are getting many visitors these days. Yes. It makes you very happy, doesn't it? Yes. That is a good thing, yes. Yes. Do you have questions for me? Um, where are the money? <laughs> <laughs> you always have the same questions. <laughs> you should try to change up your question list. Uh, I guess, would you recommend others to get reptilian infusions? Well, not everyone should get reptilian infusions. I was surprised that Jim got reptilian infusions. It's not his nature, but I understand his reasoning, but I, I'm not sure I agree with it. Not everyone should get it, no. Only those who feel that that is something necessary for them. You understand? Uh. You know, to feel that something is necessary for you, it would be very helpful to reason uh, to know what it is. So what yes. is that reptilian quality? Reptilian quality is a little more harsh. Not, not to say that it's not loving, but it's a harsher existence in the sense that um, some of them are cold-blooded, as you know. And some have evolved into warm-bloodedness, which is fine, but a lot can go between cold-blooded and hot-blooded or warm-blooded. So, um, a cold-blooded entity hybridization entering human uh, DNA is very difficult at times. It can cause uh, some reactions, and some are very unpleasant. But what would be the result? The result is high, a, a greater thought capacity, a different thought capacity, a more survivalistic thought path, pattern, but yet survival for everyone, not just themselves. Your people seem to not think about survival as much as you do many other things. Do you understand? Let's see if I can... Sure, what are you doing? Oh, oh you're on camera. Ah, oh, I see. Alright, so light worker who is love and light invites a reptilian and then he starts thinking about survival? Well, survival of the planet. Okay. Survival is the one of the main topics of reptilians. Do you understand? I do, this, I do. They, Survival for self, survival for children, survival for the planet, but they are community, so this all comes, this makes them a little more violent sometimes. Because if they feel that there someone is being offensive toward their people, they will defend it. Likewise, if they will defend in a light way as they're being offended. Once I asked a reptilian, I don't know which species was that, but it was possibly outside of the solar system. I asked them what makes them proud, and they said that we survived. Yes, survival. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That is one of their most proudest features because there was a period in their history where survival was utmost importance. And it's become sort of a inbred tradition with them that survival be a very much part of who they are. Because it, it's their pride that they have survived, of course. And it's their notion to continue to survive. And they would like other species to survive as well, but of course, the, looking out for alien number one, so... So what would be other positive influences? On they are highly intellectual. They have a numerical uh, understanding that's greater than m many species. They can make numbers into... They 
create a number system, which you, everyone has a number system that is similar, of course, because, of course, numbers are the perfection of the universe, in a way. You can make anything into a number. But they have it, they have it down to a science where there's numerals attached to literally everything in their society. Mm -hmm. And it makes it very efficient. So how good are hybrids between, say, reptilians and Yayel? Um, actually better than you might think. Reptilian and Pleiadian are the hardest to get along, actually. Within the body? Yes. So if you have Pleiadian, why would you invite Reptilian? That is a good question. Right. Now, uh, I'm thinking about inviting Liron uh, yes. infusion. What would be the outcome? What, what should I expect? One moment. Liren? Ah, okay. With the Liren hybrid, you should expect to feel stronger. Um, they have a physiology that is very strong and very healthy. They keep themselves very healthy. They have a regimented exercise program which is very different than what you might think. It's not like regular exercise. Every day is a different kind of exercise. So that it's total, totally fits the entire body. Even they have mental exercises as well. Lyrans are extremely analytical. So expect to become more analytical and you're analytical enough pretty much. But expect to become even more so because their analysis abilities are very very high and it's something that they are called to do to analyze things so um, with Liren you will become one of the most analytical scientists in the world what is wrong with his face so um, yes there is much what else? Liren. Hmm. They are a little hairier. I don't, wouldn't say that you'll get more hair. You're already sort of furry anyway. So you'll probably stay the same. But, um... Do you know about human, humans who were infused with uh, Lirans? Yes, I do. So the effects would be that what you said? They become more tranquil. Tranquil. More analytical, stronger character. They they definitely stand their ground. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, that is the part which I am missing. Yeah. They definitely stand their ground with whatever they discover to be true. If if it resonates with them, they do not give up their resonations easily. It can be changed, but it's rare. Now, suppose I invite Yael, what would that make? Yael are more creative. You know, creative thoughts and creative energies. Also, m able to multitask like mad. They can do four or five things at once. Um, what it is, is they have what you call dimensional channeling. And they can go into a channel, out of a channel, into a channel, out of a channel, into a channel, out of a channel. So they can get much work done in a very short period of time because they can direct uh, dimensional energies into their thought patterns. Yes. yes. So you heal, although they don't move through dimensions as much as you might think, but they use the dimensions much more than anybody else. They use them for their channeling and to get ideas for cr their creativeness. And they are very, very creative. And they like to be in charge. And they do well at this because they are very diplomatic. They can be, they can be ruthless, actually, at times as well. In their, in their whole being, if there's something that needs to be done, 
they will be ruthless about how to carry on that. They will not hurt anyone, of course, but they will push them out of the way, definitely, to get to where they need to be. Does that make sense to you? Oh, that's my AL nature. Yes. They push, they push. They push, they push. And to get where they need to go, they will push you out of the way and say, I'm sorry, but I'm pushing you out of the way. Oh, that's me. Yes. <laughs> um, and they will, um, and creative, very creative. Just like you, you have a lot of Yigil nature. So, you know other Yigil hybrids, human Yigil hybrids who have that quality? Yes. Any effects of effects on health? Actually, it improves health in, uh, improves mental health. Mm. Because what it does is let them, it uh, balances out the brain activity. Since they move from dimensional, they have to be very balanced in their mindsets. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Their, their brain is very, very well balanced, otherwise they could not do this, moving around mm -hmm. so quickly. So they, it balances out the brain activity so that mental illness is probably non-existent. I see. Um, also, physiologically, the knees are affected usually. They have weak knees. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that's me too. They have weak knees because they do not... Their, their structure over the centuries has weakened a little because they were sitting and thinking more than they were active. Their exercise regimen is much, much less. However, they do a lot of mental healing on the body. Uh -huh. So that is how they can remain uh, structurally safe. So that is my yell part, yeah. Yes, their knees are very weak. I feel a lot of yayel qualities. Yes. Not clear of yayel. Yeah, yeah. I'm yayel. Yeah. Yes. You're definitely yayel. Oh. 20 what percent? <laughs> Something there. Mm, not sure. Again, you're playing with percentages. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. No, no, no. It doesn't matter to me That's at this point. All right. Pleiadian. What Pleiadian does? Pleiadian is very calm. Very friendly, outgoing, wonderful, loving, intellectual, but modest. Uh, they, they can be very, very intellectual, but they're not the kind of people that will tell you that they are intellectual. And they're very, very giving, generous, generous, generous. If they could give you anything that you want, they would do it. If they cannot, they are unhappy. If they cannot give you everything that they that you want, they are unhappy because they feel feel that their lives are so full at times. They want everyone to feel that. Um, of course, there is negative things in their lives as well, but they give thanks even for the negativity because they learn from it, grow from it, and are able to help others from it. So. When something negative comes along, no matter how long it is, you will not hear a Pleiadian complain. Complaining is not something that, if you hear a Pleiadian complain, they, it's, a, I, I never did ever hear that, so. I did. You did hear a, ne a negative complaint from a Pleiadian? Yeah, all what? the time. From Pleiadians? Yes. Which one, Tepe? I wouldn't tell, but there was a Pleiadian which was complaining all the time. That just not is their nature. That really is not their nature. Okay. I'm surprised. So I'll have to go back through your records and see who that was. Is it on film? I can tell you, but not, not on record. Okay. Is it on film? On audio. It's only on audio? Yeah. Early records on audio. Ah. But I will tell you next time. I will tell Jim after the session. Ah. Because it's very unlike, if, it's very rare that they ever complain. All right. So, uh, what is physiological uh, effect of Pleiadian and Fusion? Physiologically, they have, they have a divided heart. So, it tends to not help the heart. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't, they do it in such a way that it... It just maintains a neutrality, so mm -hmm. okay. try not to hurt.
hurt the heart at all. But if they were to actually add that fooled in DNA and you yell, the heart would suffer and have problems. I'm talking about creating the human, the human. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. All right. All right, and also their diet. Very, they have a very small diet. It's it's very it's liquids and powders and and nothing that is actually very tasty. So uh, it would affect your the appetite of the human. Oh, decrease it. It will decrease the appetite. Yes. How about energy? Energy is great. They have a great energy. So. Oh. They have very warm, friendly, outgoing, gregarious, happy, joyful energy. I mean, if you eat less, the energy would go be also less. Not necessarily. They eat things that are energized. So they, the, everything that they take has energy within it that helps their body. But the humans, which will infuse Pleiadian, you know. They will learn what things that, to eat that are high energy and things that will make them um, happy. Okay. The body happy. Too much food. Humans eat too much food anyway. How about your blues? Ah, you will have a... Hmm. It's hardest to tell about me because I'm so close to it, but... Either. You will feel intellectually challenged by literally everything. <laughs> because there's more questions to answer than there is time for them to be answered. So we question everything. We are a very inquisitive race, and therefore we have gotten many answers and studied many planets and universes, not universes, galaxies, I should say, and um, know much about these things. And so now we are trying to find things like humans that pique our curiosity. We are still very interested in you. You are carried away. If a human gets a blue infusion, what should a human expect? Is it possible, you know, you're quite distant from us. Yes. Is it possible to get a blue infusion? Yes. Would it harm the physiology? Mm, if you want to shrink a little, we're short. If you were born with blue, small blue Pleiadian, your stature would probably be a slightly smaller than average human being. Your disposition would be playful. Your highest excitement would be learning everything. But, but there is no human who would receive the blue genome in adult age, right? Not recently. But in the past there were? In the past we did come here and do some hybridization. And it, we didn't find it to be very successful. It wasn't the outcome that we were looking for. Uh, so if a human invites Pleiadian or your specifically your personal uh, blue genome, would it be possible for them to receive it? Yes, but it would have to be agreed upon by everyone on the planet. Would it be likely? Um, not at this time. I see. Oh, Arcturian, Arcturian. Would it be possible to invite Arcturian and get it? Yes. Suppose I invited Arcturian, what would happen? Arcturian is a different dimension, you have to understand. They'd have to bring their hybridization program into the third dimension where they started, but it is possible for them to do hybridization. Now, you would become much more spiritual in nature in some senses in third dimensional spirituality even though their spirituality is fourth uh -huh. dimension they bring it back to third dimensional 
and your spirituality would be third dimensional. Mm -hmm. You might become a very devout Christian or Hindu or Buddhist or your spiritual level and thought patterns would be much different. You would think more, your third eye would open up wide about spiritual things. The other thing that would happen with the Octurian is that you will intellectualize what people are saying and put it into a vocabulary that is almost numerical and, al and also very intentioned. Everything Octurians do is intentioned. So even their language has the intention word in front of the sentence. Or in some of their dialects, the third word or the fourth word. Depending where yeah, I'm on the planet. The way. Uh, so, the physiologically, what would you expect? You would expect very little, actually. Physiologically, they don't exist in third dimension. Physiologically, when they bring themselves back to third dimension to do the hybridization in the actual physiological sense, very little will happen to the human because it will be actually go right in and dissolve into the system so and make them just actually more human so so would it be advisable for me to invite Arcturian oh sh I would not advise against it I don't see any negative you said becoming more spiritually yes they're actually I see nothing against it no they have great decision-making qualities Mm -hmm. as well. Their decision-making qualities make are some of the best in the universe, in the galaxy, or whatever you want to say. All right, so um, if I submit an application now, would you be able to submit it in the proper places? Just a moment. You do not want your feet rubbed. Yeah. Oh, already submitted? And what did you submit? I submitted that you would like to, um, how did I phrase it? That you would like to have some attention from the Arcturians and that you would be speaking to them later. Okay. Uh, also... That is the best I can do because they have much protocol. Of course. Yeah, so, uh, so you didn't say the, the request yet, it's just the invitation to, for them to come and... Correct, that is how it has to be done. Oh, excellent. But you will be meditating and thinking about it, so they will come as they please. They, they will come, they just have to have, be asked first. Wonderful. Uh, next idea I had was that, could I get some of my hybrid daughter's DNA? Nina? Yes. No. Technically, is it advisable? Because on humans it would be uh, not good with human genetics if you take your child's DNA and put it back. Yes, that is a questionable area. Let me check with them. Mm -hmm. It has been altered enough that you could take it, yes. Would it be advisable in health class? They would not advise it, but it has been altered enough that it is not direct from you, not a direct, it would not seem to the body to be direct. So that negative effect would not... It should not, like but they, they still have some. The, their first analysis would be, no, it's too different, you would not have it, any effect. Any negative effect. Correct. But they would, would like to look at that further. All right. So, um, I, I would like to apply for that and have asked them to look at that further. Actually, Tepe has already started to look into that. Thank you. He's put that information through an analysis. It'll take a little time for 
it to be 100% finished. But there is much work he is doing other than that, so... Okay. He is quite busy with this part of the world. I would like also to invite these dudes and Takurs in future. Specifically of these dudes, specifically of Takur. They would be my grandparents. These do would be very willing. Took her would be very willing. Yay! Thanks, uh, grand grandparents. I have to go now, Max. Thank you. It was a pleasure. A very great session. Uh, and it was very helpful. It will be published. A lot of people will benefit from that. Much love and appreciation. Goodbye, Max. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> there is much color. Colors. Mm-hmm. Much color. Let's see. Hello. Hello. There is much colors here. Inside more colors. Uh-huh. You are Max. Yes. Welcome. It is nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> the silly bodies. Mm. Uh, yes. <laughs> but we got used to that. Yes, I'm sure. My body doesn't serve me too well, but I'm thankful anyway. I can't imagine it serving you well. Actually, but it was good to meet you. Nice to meet you. 
So what do you think about my application? I'm not in charge of that. But oh. it, it is something of interest to us. Would you like to introduce yourself and chat? You've been recorded and we can publish or not publish. It's up, up to you. It matters not. I'm just observing. Oh, okay. For the moment. All right. Can I answer any questions for you? No, I am understanding. Tensor Zeta. I guess I will, uh, the most useful thing to communicate for me to you would be that I meet many light workers who are very native Arcturians, who are very Arcturian oriented. They can speak Arcturian, they think Arcturian, they pick Arcturian nicknames and things of that sort. Yes. I guess for them, infusing genetics, Arcturian genetics in their bodies would be very natural. Yes. So the program of infusing adults with Arcturian genomes, genes, would be very welcomed by light workers. Yes. What is my Arcturian connection? How much is, am I connected to you? To your um, Not much. Not much. Not much. You are much more connected to you, Hill. I feel jealous. Others are speaking Arcturian and I'm not. It is not that they have a close attachment. What it is, let me explain something to you. Have you noticed that before someone becomes a channeler, they speak a foreign alien tongue? Yeah. Not always does this happen, but in your particular group. Yes. This is how we are checking to see if channels can be made. Uh-huh. So if what is happening is that if they can accept the tongue and speak it, then we find through that channel the other channel to be opened. Uh-huh. And therefore have created other channelers. Uh-huh. Help me to become a channeler and telepath as well. I'm inviting that help. We are trying. Uh-huh. And can you give me any advice? Well, you see, you're very yo-yo in your thought patterns. Do you understand? Yes. This is hard to hone in on one spot. Uh-huh. And there's lots of things in your mind that once we do find that spot in that split second, something else pushes it out. Yes. However, we have not lost hope for you. We are still trying to get through. And there is a possibility. Some of our scientists really want to be able to connect with you, and so they are working on this. You are an unusual case. Uh, if an implant would Ooh, help, uh, I would invite one. Tahiti. I just asked if that would be possible. Yes, possible, yes. Yes. If you give me a certain mantra to stay in certain space for a while, I can use it once in a while during the meditation.
Putira pa ko nera! Tarati! Tarara! Tapa ko to! Tuku! Tutura tuku! Tarata tarata tata yo! Katota istiti tara tata ta! They would like to give you some Arcturian. They think it would benefit you. Good, thank you. But there are too many. You must cut down on how many hybrids that you want. You must choose. No more than four. Four is unheard of, but they would do four for you. Um, that's what, how many I asked for. Is it? Nina? This do, the fur, and Arcturian. Very well. And we can do it stepwise. I, uh, yes, they won't be all at once. No. Yeah. It would not be all at once. It would take probably six months for four. Okay. Because you want to make sure that between times. Between times, you need time for it to stabilize. Yes. Your physiology, I have to readjust. Some energy points are different. Thank you. You feel the specific spots that are correct. Are you finished? Oh no.
Okay. Welcome, Jim. It was a great session. It was? Yes. Why aren't I doing Reiki? Uh, he did a lot. Oh. oh I'm, I'm standing here with my arms to my sides. <laughs> I wake up and I'm like, hey, usually I'm doing Reiki. Because <laughs> they let me continue to do you the You can work on my head a bit. Okay. Um, usually, well, when I wake up, I'm still doing Reiki. They let me do the Reiki while, uh -huh. while I'm out there. No, he made you ex he he made an exit in a very structured way. He basically made you stand and breathe for quite a while. Oh. Okay. And it's nice of him. We advise others to do the same, so the exit is smoother and more structured. That was yeah, it was a smooth exit. I didn't feel I didn't even feel any uh, jumps or bumps or anything, so... Yeah, Arcturians are nice. Okay. Very good. <laughs> For some reason I just feel like laughing. But, um... Okay. Did you hear Arcturian speaking? No. Anything you remember about Arcturian? They were, they were laughing. Really? That's what I remember. Uh-huh. In the beginning, yes. Okay, that's what I remember. I think laughing and then I went, um, I was in a class of, um, there was people all around me but I couldn't see them. Uh -huh. But I was in a class and there was someone teaching and all I could see was their hand on the chalkboard or whatever it was. It was on a light board of some sort. Uh-huh. And it was uh, showing numerals that equaled different mass volumes. Stuff like Did they learn anything? Um, I I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's their way of uh, sending you somewhere. So, you know, if you have to be absent, go study something. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it was all very interesting. I understood some of it. Some of it, I, I think I already knew. It was more of a refresher kind of thing. But um, there were some things I didn't understand. So I was telling them I didn't understand. But then I came back. So it wasn't a real long class. It wasn't a very long class. I learned a lot. I learned a lot and achieved some. I invited uh, four, you were there when Lakesh spoke. Yes. Four, four uh, genetic infusions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'm surprised there are a lot of four. Will they all mix together okay? Um, I invited, they will decide. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I have no clue. Okay. Uh, it's, it's symbolic for Nina, like uh, Nina Dizdu and uh, current symbolic. Ah, okay. It, uh, it can be very little or whatever. Uh, it depends how it will go. But I like... I like and love everyone. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's wrong. That's right. And this dude doesn't have any his DNA on Earth, so for him it will be his first infusion. Cool. Mm -hmm. and I don't think uh, the Kerr has any of her DNA on Earth. No, I, and they actually, from what I gathered, they decided very quickly that it wouldn't be a problem, so... Ah, it's easy to decide. You know, if somebody asks for my DNA, you know, it's easy to decide. Oh, okay. Would you say yes? Uh, I would, you know, if I know the purpose and the purpose is benevolent, of course. Okay. You know, 
it really depends on if the child, how well the child will be treated, if it is for hybrid. Yes, that's true. You're, I have a feeling you're going to have more hybrid children. That's just my thought. All right. Not that I heard anything or anybody said anything. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. But they like you, your DNA, and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. your physicality, they don't. They're not so hot on. <laughs> Neither do I. I like some of my parts, but you know they don't serve too well. <laughs> I think they'll work on trying to make you more physically fit in the future. Right now they're working on so many things. Questions from you earthlings. We are here down in the dark. So many questions. <laughs> Reminds me. I am Takur. Hey Takur, welcome. Uh, Thank you for agreeing. You are welcome. One moment. There are many entities around today. Huh. Jim has received a visitor in the night. Uh huh. This was beyond our control. Uh -huh. He is not part of Gurkfrick Near, but yet he is an advisor. Uh -huh. But he personally does not relate himself to Gurkfrick Near. Yes. Forgive me, your head is enough. Yes, fine, thanks. I agreed to give you DNA. Thank you. The reason I agreed for this is because you would make an excellent study. Good. Your genius and your creativity and your thought processes, although dense and complicated and confusing at times, will actually become more clear. Thank you. You do need some alien DNA to help organize this area. I do. Yes. I do. 
you go from one thing to another. Your highest excitement is one moment this and the next moment that. Your highest excitement will come into focus completely. Because things will happen, as we have told you before. Things are happening now that are changing your highest excitement. Do you understand? Yes. There are things about what are happening now that are unique and unusual. Do you understand? No. Can you repeat? Unique and unusual. Unique and unusual what? Having in, in contact with four to five channelers at once. Yes, yes, yes. Within your domain. Yes. It's not happening anywhere else. Oh, no, I understand. Yes. There will be more to come. Nice. This will draw even more people to you. Nice. And Jim, and Nick. Very good. And David, and Sabrina, Excellent. and Zachary, Zariah. Yes. And there will be more. I will not name. Good. Well, I can name Elena. Oh, thank you. is sufficient for now. So, uh, Aaron, Keen, Kenji, Kenji, started the colonies. It's in the process of formalizing. One moment. I can tell you that he has started the three different colonies for those of the earth that do not qualify to travel. Yes. They are actually on the earth. Oh, okay. They are actually on the earth and they are Loked. Yes, that's what I thought. Jim has been there. Oh! I would like to visit too. He did not speak of it. Jim didn't remember. Ah, uh, but he does. It's Interesting that those that visit do not speak of it. Yes, I understand. I'm officially applying for a visit to the colonies. To these colonies. too many entities. It was clogging my passages. Uh -huh. I cleared some of them away. That's oh. much better. Good. They just backed up quite a ways. Good. But, yes, your First initial hybridization will start almost immediately. Which one is going to be that? These do. Excellent. You are most compatible with his. So they will put him first. I'm sending him my thanks and love.
you already have your yield within your system. So these do is the first and most logical choice. Perfect. As uh, it will add in and be simulated the most quickly. Nina might be also very compatible. She also is a yell human Pleiadian, so there are some things to check before we would do that. Right. But these do is definitely the first choice. Very good. I will probably be second. Very good, thank you. I must go back. There are things happening seismically that must be taken care of. Thank you very much for your visit. Much appreciation. Namaste. Namaste. Followed to the advice and made may you step straight. Yes. <laughs> um, she was telling me a bunch of stuff as she was going out. So I was, um, well, pu she pushed some more entities aside and said that there was a lot in this room and uh -huh. a lot of people listening in on what we're saying right now. So. Why do they need to listen if it's all recorded? They'd rather be here in person, just like <laughs> you'd rather be at a concert than watch it on TV. <laughs> oh, you know, can you do a dance? Hey, yeah. Yes, really. <laughs> well, I'm going to uh, smooth you out. Thank you. Uh, I think you got a good treatment. Thank you. I don't know who gave you the best treatment, but... I think it was the Arcturian. Yeah, Arcturian did a thorough job and he studied and uh, did his Reiki. Have you seen Arcturian Reiki? No. Did oh, yes, I have. Yeah. Yes, I have. Uh, I saw that one lady on that one film. Do exactly. Some... So you did the same. I did? Yeah. I don't remember that. You don't remember, but you did. Oh, I remember seeing the blonde haired lady. Yeah. I, unfortunately, I didn't record much of it because the camera was um, That's okay. facing up a little, too high, so your hands were off the camera. But later I moved it down so there was a little piece recorded of that. Oh, okay. I'll have to watch that. But um, basically they touch pairs of uh, acupuncture points. And he said that some of them match their uh, well, there are standards and some of them don't. Oh, I see. That makes sense. I would also do the same, but except uh, how would I feel the difference? The, he's somehow measuring and sending talks to the fingers, which I, which is something special they can do. Oh, okay. I don't remember much of the Octurian stuff. <laughs> They were teaching a class. Oh, it was a Arcturian class? No, it was just a class on numbers and uh, associations with numbers and things that are associated with numbers that are meaningful. And the, some of the numbers are very large. I mean, that you would asso not associate as being meaningful unless you added them up and did the final calculation. However, there are some numbers for them in their pure basic form have meaning. Yes. So It's Kabbalah in a sense, except and, and also it is a basic design of the universe. That's how it works. David Wilcox's book oh, what was the name? The Source Field Investigations explains tons about the numbers and 
platonic solids as a basis of everything, including the human body. The bond between me and me is broken. It's one o'clock already. Oh. I have a channel at one thirty. Oh, <laughs> I need to hurry to feed you. Oh no, I'm not. I'm okay. Oh. oh. I still have a half an hour, so I'm good. I didn't realize it was so 